Hey yogis and welcome, I'm Kate and I am glad you're here. So this practice is going to be an energizing morning practice as was requested. So grab a couple of blocks, a strap or a belt or a scarf and a blanket. Find a quiet spot, roll out your mat and let's get energized. All right, so we're gonna start seated simply right here. I got a blanket underneath my butt. You can grab one, a pillow if you want it, and get yourself comfortable for a moment. Let your hands rest in your lap, let your, your eyes close. Start to settle in, to feel your body in space. Feel your head stack over your shoulders, your shoulders over your hips, and feel your sitting bones where they root into the mat. Allow yourself to soften here through the muscles in your cheeks, in your jaw, your shoulders, your stomach, your inner thighs, all the way down into your feet. So you can just like melt into the floor. And you wanna keep that softness, but on your next inhale, find some length through the crown of your head. So you stay rooted, but, but feel the top of your head stretch up into the sky. Let your attention move to your breath and just feel the rise and fall. No need to change it or shift it or anything at all. Just feel your breath. Feel the parts of you that move as you breathe. There's this lovely quote from Thich Nhat Hanh, who is a Buddhist monk in the um, in, it was something about, <laughs> and I'll never say it right, but this idea of waking up, I smile. I have 24 brand new hours to live with joy and compassion and, and, and to be who I want to be. It's a total ad lib, but it's this great idea that we wake up every morning and we can smile and acknowledge this time, this new day that we have. So as you, as you sit here, Maybe you can let the corners of your mouth curl up into a smile. Welcome yourself to your mat, to this practice, and to this brand new day. And when you exhale, feel your chin drop to your chest. Give your head a little shake side to side. Just loosen up into your neck. Then roll one ear up over your shoulder and let it roll all the way back down through center and take it up to the other side. And all the way back down through center. And when you inhale next, take your head, lift it up, sweep your arms out, reach them up to the sky. You can keep your eyes closed or let them open here. When you exhale, take them down, back to where you started. Two more of those, inhale, sweep it out, reach it up. Exhale, come down. Last one, inhale, reach out. Exhale, come all the way down. Drop your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Feel your knuckles pull down, shoulder blades in toward each other, lift through your chest. Let your chin drop down here and give your head a little shake. With your head still bowed, drop your hands back into your lap. One more breath right here. When you inhale, lift your head. Grab for your strap or your belt or your whatever it might be, right? Give yourself a ton of space here. You're gonna keep your arms straight, your shoulders soft. When you inhale, take your arms up. And when you exhale, bring them back and down. Inhale, come on up. And exhale, bring it forward. A couple more of these at your pace with your breath. If you need to bend your elbows to come back and around, maybe give yourself some more room on the strap. Ooh. Or maybe don't go as far back. One more. And down. Inhale, bring it up. And bring it forward as you exhale. Walk your hands closer together here. I promise we're not gonna go back in space, but take your arms up. Low ribs in, pull down with your right hand. Ooh. So you start to feel that stretch through the back of your left arm, top of your shoulder maybe. As you pull down with this right hand, resist with the left. So keep pulling a little bit with the left too. 
stretch into that upper arm area. <laughs> Inhale, come on up. And when you exhale, pull down with that left arm, right arm activates, right arm activate. <laughs> but pull up with that right hand. Yeah. Inhale, bring it up. When you exhale, pull over with that right hand one more time. And now take your right hand, slide it down the strap a bit more. Keep your left arm active, the heel of your hand pulling up. And now slide your right hand behind you. Pull back and down as you press forward and up through that left hand. And breathe right here. Yeah. And then come through, back to where you started up into the middle and pull down with that left hand. Same deal. Slide it behind you. As you pull back and down with the left hand, press forward and up with the right. Get a big old stretch. Maybe through that left forearm, maybe the back of your right arm. Maybe it's like a lovely mix of both. It's not so lovely in my right forearm, but that's okay. <laughs> Bring it through the middle and on up. And now we can take the strap and get rid of it. There was a whole lot of hullabaloo for <laughs> that strap. All right, come into table. And when you get into table, few circles, roll it out through your shoulders. <sighs> yeah. And roll it out the other way. <sighs> and then take those circles into a cat and cow. Just feel your way along the length of your spine. How's it going in there? <laughs> I'm getting that energy moving from the inside out. A couple more. On this inhale, feel your chest slide forward, your belly drop. When you exhale, downward facing dog, give yourself some more room if you need it. Keep your knees bent. Press into your hands that the sides of your body stretch back. Oh. And then pedal out your feet. Let it go side to side. That's it. Beautiful inhale, rock forward into plank. Exhale, drop your knees, find your table again, hips over those knees. You can keep your toes tucked or untuck them. Walk those hands forward, Anahata Asana. <laughs> Puppy pose, roll your triceps in. Arms plug into your shoulders, sink your chest down. Keep your core muscles engaged, feel your hands root into the mat. The sides of your body pull back. All right, lift those shoulders. Walk your hands back underneath you. <sighs> Downward facing dog. Take your right leg, lift it up, stretch it back. Oh, bend your knees, stack your hip, open it up here. Just start to feel your way into that stretch. Right hand stays rooted. <sighs> when you inhale, kick your right leg straight back. Exhale, step your right foot up between your thumbs. Drop your back knee. Sink your hips, reach your chest forward. Exhale, pull it back, Ardha Hanuman. The runner's lunge here. Sitting bones move back behind you. Press that heel into the mat and breathe. When you inhale, rock yourself forward, plant your left hand, sweep your right arm up. And we're gonna hang right here in this twist. And then bend that left knee. Reach your right hand back, pinky toe edge. Feel yourself open. If this is a horrible grab for you, and it's a really challenging thing to do, grab a block and give yourself some height. If you can lift up, the quad stretch becomes a little more accessible. Nice full breath. Exhale, release. Windmill it all the way down. Step it back, down dog. Inhale, rock forward into plank. When you exhale, drop your knees, chest and chin, little baby chaturanga. Keep those elbows in, shoulders back. Cobra here, curl your shoulders back. Press into the tops of your feet. Back of your neck, nice and long, inhale. Exhale, release your forehead, tuck your toes. 
downward facing dog. We're going right into it, but hopefully it's not, you know, <laughs> not rough seas that we're heading into. Take your left leg, lift it up, stretch it back. Nice down dog split. Ease your way into this bent knee. Stack your left hip open. Feel your right shoulder lift. Yeah. Inhale, left leg stretches back. When you exhale, step it all the way up between your thumbs. Drop your back knee. Nice, easy, low lunge. Fingertips stay on the mat. Keep your shoulder blades in your back. Inhale. When you exhale, pull it back. Ardha Hanuman. We're moving into backbend territory, but we do want to hit other parts of your body, not just the shoulders and the hip flexors and the quads and the chest. I guess that's a lot of the body. Inhale, rock it forward. <laughs> right hand plan, sweep your left arm up, twist it here. And if you want, now you can bend that right knee, block underneath your right hand, give yourself some lift if you need it, if you want it. Roll your top shoulder open. and windmill that left hand all the way down. Step it back again, downward facing dog. Inhale, rock forward into plank. When you exhale, knees, chest, chin if you want it. Chaturanga if you're ready for it, lower it down. Upward facing dog. Or you can stick with that cobra. Roll your shoulders back, feel your chest pull forward. Core strong, inhale. Exhale, pull it up and back, downward facing dog. Take your gaze forward and let's hop. Bring your feet together. Walk them a little closer and bend those knees. <sighs> Get boingy through your legs. <laughs> gaze forward. Here we go. We're going to hop it up. <sighs> Halfway lift. <sighs> Exhale and fold. Press into your feet, rise, or Vahasthasana. Inhale, when you get to the top, hook your thumbs. Spread your fingers, feel your shoulders draw down. Pinkies pull away from each other as you scoop your tailbone, lift up into your chest. Arc it back, inhale. Exhale, fold it forward, sweep your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Drag your knuckles away. Shake out your head. Firm through your feet, release your hands. Halfway lift. When you exhale, step that right leg back. Nice big lunge here. Drop your hips, but fire up your right side quad there. Exhale, step it back into plank and lower it through. Pull it back, downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up, reach it back. When you exhale, step it up between your thumbs. Sink your hips, take your gaze forward, root through your feet now, inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Keep those legs steady underneath you, bend your elbows, press your palms together behind your head. Feel your elbows hug in, low ribs draw down, and now from here as those elbows hug in toward your ears, press your head into your arms, lift through your chest. Inhale, reach your arms up. When you exhale, open into warrior two. Flip that front palm, reach it back, reverse warrior. Sink a little deeper into your right thigh. Bend your right elbow, take your hand right to the back of your head like you were gonna cradle this little nugget of a head here. Pull your elbow in and then press your head into your hands. Feel yourself start to peel open through this side. Inhale up through your warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Reach it over. Feel this top side rib cage roll back, full breath. Exhale, windmill your left hand down to the floor. Spin your right arm up into a twist. You got it. Now take this right foot. Start to step it in a little bit. Roll onto the outside edges of both feet. Sink your hips. That's it. Inhale. Exhale, bring it all the way around. The lizard pose. Drop your back knee. I'm going to get rid of my necklace. It's bonking around and probably driving you crazy over there. Sorry about that. Back knee down if you want. Back knee up. Shoulders soft.
Here we are, press into your hands, lift your hips. Take it back into table. You've got your hands kind of farther forward. Drop down onto the backs of your elbows here. Press your palms, tops of your feet root down. Plug your arm bones in as you pull your chest back. Oh, sink your chest down toward the floor. Keep that lift through your low belly. Now lift your shoulders, shift forward so your forearms hit the floor. You can interlace your fingers here, tuck your toes, lift your knees, walk your feet in, dolphin. Keep your arm bones plugged in, press into your forearms, hips high. Bend those knees, like I've got a turbo bend through my knees because if I straighten them, I lose the length of my spine here. Everything starts to kind of curl in. So if I bend my knees, if you bend your knees, maybe you get some more room to the sides of your body. Okay, walk it into your forearm plank. Take a breath. Exhale, lower it down. Find your sphinx, plop your hands on the mat, spread through your fingers, roll your shoulders back. You got it here, press into your thumbs, inhale. Exhale, slide it down, hands underneath. Press up into table. Exhale it back, downward facing dog. Oh, take your gaze forward. Walk or hop it up, Uttanasana. Halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Press the floor away, rise up, Ordva Hastasana. Inhale, hook your thumbs at the top, scoop your tailbone, spread your fingers, pinkies work away from each other. Inhale, curl it back. Exhale, dive it forward. Sweep your hands behind your back and release your fingers. Feel your knuckles move away. Crown of your head stretches toward the floor. <sighs> Release your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold, step that left leg back. <sighs> right here, sink your hips, stretch your chest forward. When you exhale, step it back into plank. And a vinyasa here. Or you can hold your plank. It is up to you. And pull it back. <sighs> Take that left leg, sweep it up, down dog split. When you exhale, step it up between your thumbs. A little pause right here, sink your hips. Press into the floor, inhale now, rise up, crescent lunge. And as you press the floor away, feel your hips sink down. You got it, bend your elbows. Hands press together right toward your upper back, back of your head there. Elbows hug in, feel your low ribs pull down, your tailbone scoop. And just lean that head into your arms. Yeah, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, open, Vera two. Flip that front palm, reverse warrior. Keep this left thigh like it could melt into the floor. Bend your left elbow, take your hand behind your head. Hug your elbow in toward your ear and then press your head into your hands. <sighs> Open it up. That's it. <sighs> press into your feet, inhale, come on up. Nice strong core, side angle as you go. Reach it over. Feel your tailbone lengthen toward that right heel. <sighs> Windmill your right hand down to the floor. Spin it open, nice big twist here. <sighs> and now you can take your left foot, kind of squeegee it in and a little bit wider. Drop onto the outer edges of both feet. Sink your hips for horizon pose. Take that left arm, reach it back. <sighs> and then all the way up and around into lizard. Back knee up, back knee down. It is up to you. <sighs> yeah. All right, come back up onto your hands if you've lowered it down. Step it back into this slightly longer table, but grab your blocks. So you've got the little short ends of the blocks facing each other. Take the backs of your elbows to the blocks here. All right, hips over your knees. Tops of your feet root down, hands press. Plug your arms in and drop your chest down. Oh. Feel that spot right underneath your belly button. Lift in and up. 
and now that space between your shoulder blades can soften in and down. All right, press into your elbows. Lift yourself up and out. Take these blocks and just kind of plop them to the side. When you get them plopped out, lower onto your forearms. We're going into dolphin again, right? So if you want to keep your fingers interlaced here, if you want to flatten out your palms, spread it wide. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. <sighs> keep pressing into the floor. You got it. Another breath here. And walk your feet back. Dolphin. And when you exhale, lower it all the way down. Untuck your toes. Roll your shoulders back. Take this left forearm across in front of your chest. Bend your back knee. Reach it back. Grab for that right foot. Oh. Yeah. Can pull that foot in. Take it toward the outer edge of your hip here. And back through the middle. Into the other side, right? Right forearm across, bend your left knee, reach it back. Oh. Yeah. Keep your low belly lifted, your tailbone long, even here. And back through the middle. Oh. One more breath. When you exhale, lower yourself all the way down. Make a pillow with your forearms. You can bend your knees and windshield wiper your feet. Are right, you going to keep those knees bent? Drop your forehead to the mat. Reach both hands back. Grab the tops of your feet or your ankles. If a foot grab isn't in your repertoire, you can take a strap and lasso it around both so you've got like a big old U around your ankles. <laughs> yeah? And then you can kick your feet oh, into the strap, okay? So here's an option if grabbing your feet is not a great one. <laughs> okay, roll your shoulders back. Kick your feet into your hands or into that strap. And as you kick back, feel your chest lift. <sighs> and a little rock forward and back. This is a good pre-breakfast. <laughs> Maybe not so good post-breakfast. <laughs> and now from here, let yourself roll side to side. Here we go, we're gonna roll all the way onto your right side. Oh, capsized. A capsized <laughs> bow pose. All right, roll it back through the middle. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Oh. And then over to the left side. Oh God. <laughs> Can it be done? Whoops, I used my hand. You didn't see anything. Take a breath here. <laughs> and then roll it back through center. Oh. Release that. Plop yourself down. And chill over your feet side to side. Oh. oh my goodness, drop your feet to the floor. Slide your hands underneath. Come on up into table. And once you hit table, cat and cow. Oh, stretch it back out. Ah, yeah. A little side to side in that rounded spine. Feels super good. Ah, there you go. And back into a child's pose. Slow and steady. Slide it all the way back. Let your fingertips walk away and then your elbows drop. Your forehead can relax. If your forehead doesn't comfortably hit the floor, grab a block. Hmm. Okay. And then come on up into table. Sweep your feet to one side. Take it all the way onto your back. <laughs> Get all these props out of the way here. Okay. Now you're here. Bend your knees, feet flat, arms alongside. We're gonna do a bridge. So shuffle those shoulder blades underneath you, push into your feet, lift your hips. You can take your hands all the way under, press your fists into the floor, lengthen your tailbone, fire your glutes, see what that feels like. And then soften them and see what you prefer. Huh, yeah. 
center of the back of your head is going to press into the mat. Take a breath. When you exhale, release your hands, lower it all the way down. So we're gonna do two more. Now you have options. You can do that bridge. You can grab one of your blocks if you want. You're looking for a more gentle bridge. You can slide the block underneath. I'm gonna walk you through a wheel, which is a big time invigorating thing. If wheel is not something you wanna to do today, then um, I respect that. <laughs> So pick your poison if you want the bridge, if you want the supported bridge, awesome. If you want the wheel, you're gonna set your feet just like you do in a regular bridge. Then take your hands, fingertips point in toward your shoulders. Okay. Elbows in toward your ears, arm bones plug back. Press into your feet with your hips. I'm, I'm an in stages type person here for this pose. Elbows in, arm bones back. Press into your hands, come onto the top of your head, readjust. Elbows in, arm bones back. Press into your hands if you want to lift it into your wheel. Who can lift it into your wheel? When you're ready to come down, curl it in. And lower down, pause. We've got two more, or we got two more. I can count, I swear, we got one more. So if you want to do another wheel, if you want to do a bridge, if you want to do the supported bridge now, up to you. I'm going to walk you through one more wheel because I feel like it. <laughs> so plant your hands. Fingertips in. Here you go. Elbows in. Arm bones down. Plant your feet. Push into the floor. Lift your hips. Press into your hands. Elbows in. Arm bones back. Come up onto the top of your head. Readjust. Elbows in. Arm bones back. Press and lift. Oh, my wrist. Unhappy. Oh. When you're ready, curl your chin into your chest. Lower it all the way down. Let your arms blop out to the sides and take your knees, drop them over to the right. Ah. Bring them up through the middle, let them drop over to the left. Also, ah. <laughs> And back up through center. Blop them over to the right one more time. Take that right ankle over the top of your left thigh. Stretch your left arm along. Keep your ankle crossed over the top of your left thigh. Come up through the middle. Draw your left knee in figure four. Soften into your breath. You can even close your eyes here. You don't need to see what's going on. We're going for a half happy baby on this right side. Drop your left foot. Bring your right leg in. Half happy baby. Arda Ananda Balasana. You got it. Drop your right foot to the floor. Bend your left knee, bring your left foot back up. And now both knees can go over to the left side. Hook your left ankle over the top of your right thigh. Stretch your right arm straight back. Just ironing it out here. Up through the middle with that left ankle still crossed. Figure four, round two, flex that left foot. Soften your shoulders. Come back to your breath. <sighs> and drop your right foot to the mat, left side, half happy baby. And you can bring the right leg in for a full happy baby if you'd like. Let it rock a little bit side to side. And pull your knees into your chest. Roll a little bit forward and back. Come all the way up to a comfortable seat. Grab that blanket if you want or that pillow we started with. If you want a true Shavasana, then by all means go for it. 
this energizing practice is meant to like get you up and continue your, your rise, right? So we're gonna stay upright here. Close your eyes. Traditional Shavasana is also completely legitimate. You pick. Feel your shoulders relax, sitting bones root down and the crown of your head stretch away. Come back to your breath. Back to what's going on in your body. 24 brand new hours. Wake up and smile. There is a brand new day ahead of you. What happened yesterday is gone. What's going on tomorrow has yet to happen. We have it right here, right now. Breathe into this moment. And this moment. And this one too. Bring your palms together to Anjali Mudra. You can stay here as long as you'd like. I'm gonna leave you now, so bow your head. Mm -hmm. Say quiet thanks to your body and your breath. And I thank you for being here, for your suggestions, your inspiration. Thanks for being part of this community. Like, subscribe, share all of the things. Now go out there and make it a great day.